Hello, welcome to Infinity. We're going to take a very close look at how curves really work and in particular the critical thing that they actually do which is about changing contrast. Let's start off, we're going to look at this chart here first and then we'll move on to a real picture later because this shows us really what's happening. At the top of the row we've got black, shadows, midtones, highlights and whites as a range of shades of grey. You, you could do the same with colours but this is the easiest way to look at it. At the bottom, just in more detail, it's broken down into 11 sections, 10% at a time and getting more white one way and more black the other way. Okay, so here's our curves of this. These spikes here are the various points of one of these and then the odd ones in between are also those. So if we take the bottom point here, the left hand one, if you remember this chart here, the bottom level here goes from black to white as is at the moment and up and down here is to be, in other words before and after. So if I move this up, if you look at the chart on the left hand side, look at what happens as I move this up. See it gets more and more grey. That's kind of understandable because if I move it up to halfway, now what I've done, I've said those things which were black make them 50% grey. And those things that were 50% grey now make those halfway again to white. So this is now 50% grey, this is halfway to white again. But look at what we've actually done along here. We've now taken effectively half the, the black and white spectrum and we've stretched it across. So we've gone from, and it's the same on the bottom, we've gone from having black at one end and white at the other end. We've now gone sort of half that. We've gone from having 50% grey on one end and white on the other end. So what we've done is reduce the change across each one of these. Yeah, the stepping across was more. There was a greater contrast change between each one. And now there's less. And what we've done is the, the, the line here is a lower gradient than the line here. Imagine you are walking up a hill. This hill here is not as steep as this hill here. The gradient is less. So if I bring that back again. Oops, yes. There we go. I added a new point then accidentally, but not a problem. So now we get back to where we are and the steps now are more than they were just now. If we go to the other end and pull this down, and look at what's happening here. It's the reverse effect on the right hand side here. The white here is now 50% grey. So what was white is now 50%. So again, the steps now between each of these, the change in contrast between each one, similarly across these, is less. We're taking less of a step because we're spread only between black and halfway to white. So in other words, we've made this a lower gradient, less of a gradient, and therefore the contrast is less. In fact, if we keep going, if I pull this down, it gets less and less contrasty, less and less until it's gone all black. In fact, any horizontal line here we can care to put in is just grey. And the further up this line gets, the lighter the grey. So if I could just bring it down here, see it's going here just from 25% to 50%. So it's really, really muddy, not very much contrast within this picture at all. So the critical thing to remember is gradient equals contrast. The steeper the gradient as we go across, the more the contrast. Now let's go the other direction. If I go from the, the left hand node and I pull this to the right, watch the left hand side of the chart, look at how it's getting darker. Particularly, if I just get to this point here, 
Notice how these two now are both black. And that's because this point here has come to this spike. And this spike represents number one here, the 10%. And guess what? If I go along to the next spike, that's going to go black as well. So, because what we've said is that which was along here, 20%, now make on the vertical scale all the way to the bottom, black. But this means now, if I just take this halfway along, so I've made half of this black, that I've now got to go from black here to white here in bigger steps each time to get from black to white. And that's because as well, the line up here is steeper. My gradient has got steeper. So there's more contrast across that range. Likewise, we can go to the other end. We can take this and go left. And as we go left, see the white just goes backwards and backwards. So now we've got, as we cross each of these points here, the crossing cross boundaries of this. And we now, if we get to the 50% mark, we've now got white all the way across here. And now each step here is going to be, again, it's going to be a bigger step each time to go bet between black and white across half the range as opposed to a smaller steps as you go across the full range. Let's look at a practical use of this. Here we've got a picture of a house and this is a little bit um, hazy. It's not quite, you know, fully high contrast. So if we go and take away, take a contrast here, here's our fully, here's our chart, okay? This is the low contrast picture. If I'm going to take the left hand node here and move this across here, as it goes across here, it's not actually changing anything in here because within this picture, there are no blacks. It's all sort of gray. The worst you get is gray. So I can move this across until it touches the histogram here. And this is making this bit here black. So now we're introducing black into those little darker areas. Similarly with the whites, there's not much white here. And I can drag this across until vertically above this here. So now look what I've done. I've increased the gradient. If I take this off, turn this on, see it going from lower contrast to higher contrast, the line across here is steeper. So we have just by pulling pull those in, we've created a steeper gradient and we've increased the contrast. There's a lot more that we can do uh, using this principle of the steeper you get, the more contrast you get, but we'll do that in other videos. So thank you very much for watching.